barn in plain field, I think is what I called it. And I've just sprayed it and I, I have to at least redraw the barn. The other stuff, um, you know, you're not going to know. I bet I'm going to redraw it anyway. So the main thing I noticed is I don't have the peak of the roof right at all. Um, and so I have to see if I can make that better. And I'm going to start with this front side. And um, before I, I did this little line across to kind of help me, it <laughs> didn't help me enough evidently, but I'm going to just try that idea again. So um, I've got a lot of charcoal now. I, I didn't make a very nice line. Um, so I'm thinking where this goes is sort of the outside edge of that charcoal line. And then from there, um, this goes really at a steep, steep angle. And um, so uh, what I mentioned before is that this has to be your steepest angle because it has to travel the greatest distance um, to get to the vanishing point. And then this is a little less steep and this is a little less steep. The, the important, I know you can't see it at all. So I'm just gonna have to um, put the color on it, but I, I do wanna do some other drawing. The important thing is that like this line or this line or this line can't be longer than the line that's opposite from it because um, in perspective, parallel lines appear to converge. So you have to be sure they're converging, not diverging. So I think the only way I'm gonna be able to really tell if this is right yet is um, to come back and put the color on it. I think I let this get way too long. That's another thing about perspective. It's, it's not at all about what you believe. It's about, um, and it's not about what you know to be true. It's about, the way you have to make it if you want to, uh, the way you have to draw it if you want to make it look real, like it's really in perspective. Okay, so I just want to go back and double check some stuff. Um, so here's here's these trees. I think I think I did let this get too big. I um, okay, so I'm, I'll start up here, I guess. So let's, that's not too bad. This is sort of where that's going to be. Um, then there's this area that comes across here that's where the, the um, pine trees are. Oh, these guys, these guys, they're, they're a little higher up. And this comes down, this comes down a little more, I think, and then goes up. So um, what I'm doing for drawing is I'm trying to compare, like how high is this compared to the things behind it? Where does it stick up to? Does like maybe, I think maybe this needs to come up too and then this is gonna come up from the bottom, which I'm pretty sure last time I did the opposite. And I've also realized from watching these um, videos later is that I'm, I'm really just changing the drawing just tiny little bits and that people that want me might really wonder what was the point of what I was doing. And, and sometimes it just looks like I'm even just going over the lines that were there. Um, but I, I don't know, it, it does really helps me to redraw. Um, and so there's some stuff here that's a little in front that would be kind of good. And I mentioned that I think there's some little houses back there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get involved with them just yet. So, and um, I think maybe I made those stick up too much. So I'll just bring them down a little. And um, it was really interesting to me the other day on that other, the, the first part of this. Um, yeah, it was so interesting. Okay, so what I did was um, I had, had this tree and I put the, um, I put in the telephone pole, which I'm going to do again, uh, just to double check. And it is sort of right, right here. 
anyway, I, you know, the telephone pole, I'm trying to put it in, I'm trying to compare it to what's behind it, where this comes, where the, oh, look at that, the road is so far down. Okay, well, that's, that's good to notice. All right, so maybe that's part of why I can't make this. And that, I think, is another tree behind there. I don't think that's all this tree. I think maybe there's another tree. And this still is a little tall. But then oh, it has to be taller than that. Okay, I'm starting to wish I never even noticed the telephone pole or the tree or anything else about this. Um, okay, so let's, let's see if we think maybe this goes here. This is really big, it comes way up. And then I think in here is maybe, I can't really tell, but I think this is maybe another tree right here. And that would kind of solve some problems for me if I had another tree. So it's gonna be behind this tree, but, but I think not having that tree there is causing me trouble. I guess I think this is, uh, and it's just always the same question, like, why do you bother when no one really knows how it is? But um, um, yeah, and also I should say that any mistakes that are made here, it, it, they're like, when I watch these, I, I keep saying to myself, when, when, oh, when is she going to fix that terrible mistake? But I don't see all my mistakes, but if I see them, I try to fix them. Um, and if I'm changing something for some reason, then I try to always mention that and not just have it be that, um, yeah, I, I do try really hard to draw to get things to look. So like right here, that tree sticks out a little bit. And that's kind of an important thing because, oh, except, wait a minute. Actually, maybe it sticks out a little more right here. Yeah, anyway, if I don't see it, if I don't fix it, it's a mistake. And if I, otherwise, I will tell you if I'm intentionally leaving something or changing something. Okay. All right, so this, I think, has to come down a little further. And here, if this is, the bottom of the telephone pole, the bottom of the tree trunk is not much further down, but a little bit. So, so there's my telephone pole. And then um, this telephone pole, I'm going to wait on that and see if when I start my color here, if I can get that more light. Yes, I think that road goes right back through here, but I don't know if I'm going to show that or not. But at least I'll draw it there a little bit, just so I remember. And um, some fishy things in here and then the pine trees. And if that road was there, that would mean this pine tree was a little taller. All right. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to start with the barn first because I can't tell if it's drawn right uh, without it filled in more. I can't. I can't really tell where the lines are, so I'm just going to start with that. And I am. I mean, I'm trying to worry about the color, but um, I'm also just trying to get a piece I can actually draw. <clears throat> yes, I wish I'd just use something darker. Let's see if I can. Tiny little piece. And I'm trying to, um, around that little black thingy, I'm trying to just see, you know, what's the space here, what's the space there. And um, I think it comes this way a little more.
And really, the amount of drawing I do on these is nothing compared to the oil paintings that I worked on for so long. And um, it, to me, it's always it's pretty bad when I, I find a mistake later on those paintings. So I try to be as careful as I can from the very start. And um, sadly, though, I still find mistakes. So I'm just not sure that's right still. Maybe just like, and that's the other thing. This is pretty tiny. So uh, to correct, it might just be the width of your, um, of, the, of your stroke, you know? All right, so, and then the front side of the barn. I did put all my pastels away this time because I just felt like um, it was too confusing. All right, so front side of the barn. It was too confusing to have the, oh man, sadly, just dropped that piece. Um, it was too confusing. Like I just, I don't know, I felt confused. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. It was just, it was so confusing to have these things out that I used the last time and just too much um, trying to sort of just pick them up instead of looking for something new. And um, it really bugged me. So this time I just put everything away before I started again. All right, and then just um, the back side. I let the back side of the barn get way too long, uh, which is that thing. Um, you know, I know the barn is long, um, longer than it looks. And so there's a, a little bit of a tendency to make these sides that are in perspective just too long because you, you know that they are, in fact. Um, okay, so is not perfect, but I feel like I made it better, except for this back line, which is the a Vermont falling down barn, which this isn't. All right, I don't know. Okay, but is it that this comes down? Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then I'm gonna go um, back to the sky, which is usually where I start um, when I come back to something. And I'm going, gonna go ahead and um, lighten up the clouds and stuff. And in fact, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking all the time here is I'm starting to lighten things up from having sprayed it and let things get so dark. And I don't think these clouds are actually yellow. I don't feel like now that I'm putting this on there, I don't feel like that's really what I'm seeing, um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it a little bit and then um, see what else things look like on top of it. And now I'm kind of wishing maybe that I started with the shadows on the clouds instead of starting with the lights. Okay, so the shadows on the clouds, if I really squint, they are not really much darker than the sky. They are just a different color. So that makes me think that really what I should do is work on my sky for a minute. And wow, okay, so I did want to lighten up my sky. I don't know that I meant to lighten it up that much, but you know, once you've done it, you just kind of, I don't know, have to go with it. But maybe it's better. I really won't know for a little while if it's better or not. And you probably notice this, that if you're outside looking at the sky, um, if you tilt your head back and look at the top, that generally speaking, the sky is darkest at the top and it gets lighter as it goes down toward the ground. And of course, um, let's see, where is the sun in this picture? It must be kind of behind me or maybe a little bit over to the left, I'm not sure. Oh, no, it must be just right behind me. Um, yeah, so when you when you have this, the, the sun is close to the edge of your picture, then you would, that part of the sky would get lighter. But um, in this case, and 
and so the bluest part is up high usually. So I just say, you know, just go out and take a look at that and you'll see. I'm not sure it's even the kind of thing I noticed. I think someone had to point it out to me. I had a teacher once who told, said, don't ever put green in the sky. Uh, and so I don't know why I just, you know, I was like, okay, don't ever put green in the sky. And I was out painting, oil painting one day when I, you know, I wasn't, hadn't, I mean, I wasn't, I was a pretty new painter then. And, um, you know, I'd only been doing it 20 years or something. But so I'm standing out there trying to get the sky, trying to get the sky. And the person, the friend of mine whose um, property it was, she came out and I said to her, I just can't get the sky. And she said, well, it's green. I was like, well, yeah, it is. But I just had kind of taken that thing in that that teacher said, never use green in the sky uh, without really thinking about it. And I, I let it keep me from seeing what was really there. So you have to take everything an instructor says with a big grain of salt. Look at that, it's a pterodactyl. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back and put the lights on the clouds back in. And I don't really want it to be yellow. I don't know what this is. Um, let's try this. It's probably too light. So I'm just going to take it down a little more. Oh, please, thank goodness I didn't drop that down to the ground. It's such a great idea just to go out and do cloud studies with just a tiny bit of land and just really focus on clouds. <clears throat> Even this where my clouds aren't moving, I just feel like it's so hard. I think probably we should all be studying everything in the natural world and like know what kinds of clouds are what and I don't know, like, you know, I don't know if that's true, but sometimes I think, wow, if I just knew what kind of clouds they were, but then probably I would not, you know, I wouldn't feel like I had to look so much. I could just say, oh yeah, those are series. Okay. Um. But you, you have to have these three things. You have to have clouds and light, clouds and shadow, and then the color of the sky. And another thing you want to try to remember, sometimes it's really easy to forget. I think I forgot it right now until I mentioned it, is that what you're seeing here is the underneath part of the clouds. So um, that that's kind of hard. It's like, it's the same thing that we're, I mean, we're always looking up at the clouds, but I don't think we think about that as much that um, the clouds are kind of like a box also. And what we're seeing is the front plane and the underneath plane. And that's all we can see. All right, maybe I'll let that get too light. I kind of like it right there, what happened. And not loving anything else, but um, yeah, so I see like, so here I'm seeing another side plane of another cloud that's underneath. And so that's the bottom. And then um, I don't, you know, I just can see this tiny little bits of the sides. So it's kind, of, it's kind of like, um, you have to be careful with drapery and clouds and things that are so like sort of soft um, because if you get too analytical about it all, then they'll end up looking like um, sheet metal folding or something. 
uh, you know, not like clouds. So, but I think you have to be a little analytical when you're like studying how it works. And then hopefully that kind of study translates into being able to um, do things that are a little more, um, you know, look a little more natural, a little less rigid. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking right this minute that I haven't reached that stage yet. So if you haven't either, don't, don't feel too bad. All right, well, it's down here that things are so horrible. So let's see what I can do about that. Um, Ooh, that's the same green. The last little piece of this, so if I drop that, it's all over. And, you know, once again, I've kind of um, used up all the texture on my paper thing in here because I just have been working on the skies too long without going on other things. I just can't bear to leave them, you know, they, I feel like they look so bad, but um, yeah, and you know what else? I feel like, um, you know, I just took a look at the screen. Just a second. Right, I'm a little in the dark. Let's turn that one. Yeah, that is just, I'm sorry, I have to go through this all the time. I just can't quite get the lighting right. Okay, so this now, with the light turned down quite a bit, looks the most, the picture on the screen looks the most like the picture up here. Um, sadly, though, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I'm just going to have to come back to that. I might have to spray it before I can come back to it. You know? So many blues, and yet I don't seem to have enough. All right, moving on. Okay, so now I need to just put my little mountain back in. And I'm thinking that must be the real light. Um, yeah, maybe I just, maybe I need some of that up here too. Yeah, it doesn't look so white up here though. Okay, I know that looks horrible, but I'll, I'll come back to it. Well, I can't leave it, sorry. Okay, um, all right. Okay, so then um, I'm pretty sure this is too dark. One thing I noticed kind of right at the end um, last time is how much darker this tree needs to be, or at least it's richer, it's darker, but it's also warmer than right behind it. So I'm gonna see if I can get that more, um, more how I think it needs to be back there. So I think it also has some, some sort of green in it. And that, you know, see that might be wrong, but I, it's just like with the sky, I shouldn't have lingered up there so much time because what I need to do is keep moving and then I can see if stuff isn't right because I have more stuff to compare it to. So then here's the um, shadow.
And then here, yeah, so that's probably too light. But let me do this next, and then I'll have a better idea if that's too light. I, I sometimes I do come back and I use the exact same color I used before. What did you? Um, I'll use the exact same color I used before. And it, it just, it's still going to be different because after I spray it, the colors aren't the same. Okay, so maybe that's a little better. And I don't know, maybe that needs to be even darker, but maybe I need to see what I can do with this so I can make a decision about that. And um, so I'll just try this. You know, I look around for a little bit and I, I just get tired of looking for stuff. So I'll just say, oh, this, it's almost like, what difference does it make? You know, whatever I do, I mean, I can sit here and think about it all I want, but I don't know how it's going to look until I do it anyway. So I might as well just do something. And then I can say, well, and especially if I do something kind of over the top, like maybe that's way too much. Um, then what the good thing is, it's easier for me to, hopefully it's easier uh, for me to say, yeah, that's, that's wrong because I made it extremely wrong. No. All right, so the question now is, I think that's too light. So let me just see if I can make that a little darker. And I'm not really doing strokes right now. It's like, it's all too difficult for me at the moment. I can't think about all the stuff I got going on. And I certainly can't think about how the strokes are gonna go right now. Yeah, it's a pretty light color in there. So I'm thinking I could leave that for a minute um, and keep going down with other stuff. Okay, so these are kind of hard to spot as trees. Um, I sort of worried this is too light, but it's that same, same thing as I was saying, is that I've got to save some of my darkest greens for a close. So um, I might just need to see like that. It seems too light. And, and maybe it, it, it is. Okay, so I um, also wonder if I could suck some of the color out of this little thing with something else. Okay, um, uh, so maybe I'm gonna come over to this tree and see what I can do about this. And so before, when I started on this, I was saying, yeah, I don't have to use all that red and stuff because I got the red underneath. But you know, now the red's kind of all covered up. So I just wanna find a way to bring this tree forward. And I do know that hot colors will come forward more than cold colors. So I'm thinking, you know, if I can keep my greens back here really blue and then try a little warmer color here, it might pop it forward. So that is kind of a trick. Um, and it's, I'm kind of observing it, but it's also kind of a trick. It's like knowing how to do something that will make something work. And I do prefer not to use tricks. I prefer to, um, it always just to be an experiment. And that's, the really worst thing about finding something that works is that um, then you can you just repeat yourself. Oh yeah, I've got all this other stuff over here. Big question: Do I want all that? I think there's a lot more trees in here than I really know. Um, oh yeah, so I sort of started there with that. Um, let's see what this will do. So 
some of these pastels are so soft um, that I don't really feel like I can unwrap them, but then I also don't really like the way that stroke looks particularly. Oh, kind of like that color. Personally, I always love um, green and purple, any combination of green and purple, I just love it. All right, so now I'm gonna come back over this little red tree. Yeah, see, it's not dark enough. Um, okay, so something I have to be darker. I can find it then. Let's see what I was doing. Oh, look, there's a darker thing. Okay, so let me try this. Oh, it's exactly the same. Search, 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 and that's what I found. Okay, let me try something else then. Also, I'm really hoping I can get sort of this feeling that this tree is, especially on the edges, is really see-through. Okay, well, that is clearly darker than this, but this doesn't look right to me either. Um, I just want to use darker stuff anyway. And maybe it's also that it's just, maybe that's going to come lighter in there. <laughs> or maybe a little blue Just telling myself right now, you know, it's supposed to be fun. You're having a good time now. You chose to do this to yourself. No one said you had to go sit in the basement. And you know, it actually it is really fun. Even the struggle is kind of fun. Um, kind of. You know, and if it's not hard, if it's not a challenge, it's probably really not worth doing. Unless, of course, you're trying to just make money. You know, you know that pops out way too much, doesn't it? Um, okay, so let me just see if I can knock that back a little more. See, I kind of hate it when I've, I've just worked on the sky so much now I can't I can't really work on it, then I'll have to spray it again to work on that part. So maybe what that really says is I shouldn't have worked so long on the sky. Oh, but I did mention to somebody, if I can even find a paintbrush in this place. I can't find any. Um, I mentioned the idea of sc scraping some, of flicking some stuff off. All right, well, I know, I know my paintbrush is in here, so. Let's just see if I can find a crappy paintbrush. Kind of needs to be a crappy paintbrush. Yeah, I can find a crappy paintbrush. So happy I save every paintbrush I ever have. Oops. All right, so let's just try this. So what I'm doing is I'm just knocking this off. I don't know how well you can see it. This is another reason, like you can tell for once now, I have my easel. This is my big studio easel that I, I didn't have here in Rhode Island before, but um, so I have it tilted. So the top of the picture is closer to me than the, the bottom. So that as I'm doing this, this dust is not landing, it's not dribbling down my page. It's um, actually falling straight down or down and it's up to the here on my, uh, 
I'm not my easel tray. All right, well, I don't know. I'm just hoping somehow I'll find something completely different that I really like. But I, I don't know if I will. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that better. And um, I think I'll, you know, I'm going to bring down some of my clouds a little more. I just want to show, remember that these have very bottoms of the clouds. I mean, they're not completely flat, but they're, they're kind of flat. You know, and I, I think I have my clouds all too big, and that's how I, I don't why I don't have room for all these other little thingies down here, little cloud thingies. Um, okay, I'll come back to that. Okay, so at, at least I feel better about this color, which made me feel a little better about this. Although actually, I think it's a little pinker. So let's just make it a little pinker. And I know the drawing, as usual, looks nothing like Camel's Hope. All right, so that's definitely too pink. Um, I actually can see a little bit of shadow back there, so maybe that one. I have a little light shadow in those mountains. Um, I'll tell you, it looks way worse on the picture here than it does on the screen. So for once, that's going my way. Let's see if I can add a little purple back here too. All right. Okay. All right. So yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm in here somewhere, and uh, this is way too light. I'm sorry. I have to fix that, or try to fix it, or do anything to make it not so light. You have to take the brush to it, I think. All right, I can accept that maybe for the moment. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so the, the, yeah, I was down here with these little trees in this field. So I'm just gonna, Oh, I hate that. Okay, just let me tighten my ear. There's a name for this color green, and that name is Lizard Green. And the thing about Lizard Green is um, it's pretty offensive really. And um, it's much better than that, I think. I had a show one time and I, after I looked at it, I just felt like every single painting of mine, it was sort of summer in Vermont, every single painting of mine was lizard green. And that's probably the time I decided, yeah, I finally had figured out grass. I could really paint grass, you know? And of course, that was the end of that. The minute I said I could really do it, I, I just like I couldn't do it at all anymore. All my grass was just terrible. Um, and I, I think grass is super complicated because it's a million, you know, little, well, blades. And, um, and so it, it is, yeah, the green is kind of yellowy because of the sunlight on it. But then there's probably just as much shadow in your grass as there is sunlight because 
so many blades of grass are turned you know sideways so here I'm, I'm using that color to make the barn a little thinner right there it's something I never got to until just now so anyway grass so many things are a mystery and that should be what keeps it fun but also it kind of is really there's other things that are not so fun but if you had it all figured out you'd have to go do something else wouldn't you i was like what are those things in the sky but they're my little charcoal drawings so that's pretty amusing um i'm just gonna do a little more down in here Have that lighter color i know that's not going to leave it like that but um and then we got a road wow it'd just be so great to use gray wouldn't it So I don't think that's light enough. I'm not 100% sure. Also, it just doesn't seem like I got enough pixel on this little part. I feel like after, you know, now this is, of course, when I would get dissatisfied with my paper is when I had about 100 sheets of it sitting in here. And I just suddenly I'm like, mm -hmm. it's just not working like I want it to. It's I don't know if it's the paper or the spray, like maybe they changed the formula on the spray I've been using. But I, I really need the spray to set it up hard, my, you know, to make me a new hard surface so that I can go do more. And I'm not getting that feeling exactly. Um, okay, I think that's a little better. Um, okay, so I just have to get this covered and then I'm planning to go back to the sky for a minute and try to deal with that. And then I'm pretty sure I'd be at a place where I needed to spray it again um, to continue, um, which is probably probably what I'll do. Stop it. Um, sometimes, you know, I put little blocks of things. I thought this was caught in its own little groove there, but I put little blocks of wood and stuff behind my um, thing. Because I actually am using, I'm always using a lot of pressure. So um, I'm pushing really hard. So I need to be sure my easel stays stable. stable. Uh, what are you? We're not quite, that was not quite what I wanted. Yeah, I guess it's time to go replenish my pastels. I feel like I just did that. Go look around through all the other boxes and oh, that just looks like crap. What is she doing? Um, I was trying, I'll tell you what I was trying to do is make it feel like those branches were sticking out into the light and catching some of the light, but um, yeah, I don't know, just two. But I, you know, I know I'd have to, I, I, you know, I would always have to spray it at least two times, if not more, to get it to kind of, okay, I'm just gonna leave that too for a minute because maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> maybe it will, but maybe it won't.
Yeah, you know, that I'm definitely not leaving like that. It's just that right this minute, I, I need to get it covered again. I should just do paintings that have nothing in this corner because it's so hard to get over here and work on it. And I can't really see what I'm doing until I've done it. <laughs> okay, so if you get the mess, like I had the mess and then I got the mess because I broke it up too much and it didn't really work. So what you have to do after that is you wanna, you know, take it back to a mess and then try again. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I feel better about the barn, the drawing on the barn. I'm not, you know, 100% sure it's just right, but I do feel better about it. And so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Oh, golly, <laughs> I should have really just left it alone. I'm gonna leave it for now. And then um, if when I spray it again, I'll, I'll look at the drawing again and see what I think. Um, yeah, don't ask me why I decided to mess with that. Okay, so I said I was going to try to do something else about the clouds. And I think maybe what I need to do is, um, I need to find something. I feel like nothing is dark enough. And I don't know if that's because I'm kind of sitting here in the dark. What? Try this. It looks so dark down here. That's and that was just the same. I swear to God, the same exact color. All right, well, that was dark. Huh? Also, you might find yourself I don't know, all of a sudden you might realize that you're not really looking at your um, your photograph or at the landscape that you're painting. You're just sort of, I don't know what, you're only kind of referencing your own painting. And um, I do think that that's what you do the longer you work on something, that the more that becomes the way that goes. But um, when you're feeling kind of messed up, it really helps to look at what you're doing and not just think you I don't know, just so take a look every now and then if you feel like things are not going your way, sometimes just taking a look will um, turn that around a little bit. So before I use those yellows and then I thought that was too much, but now I sort of feel like I see them again. So I'm just gonna put them back in. And I mentioned that thing about really looking because I, I, I felt like I was kind of like, you start to feel like you're having this little panic thing. And so then you don't, you just keep looking at your painting more and more and not what you're painting from. So I, I kind of was feeling that, that little feeling of panic. So just thought I'd share that while it was happening. Um, okay, so now I need some light or something to Well, um, a lot of times all you can hope for is just to feel a little better. Um, if you've never read Annie Lamont's book, Bird by Bird, I really recommend it. Um, she talks about how she, she just can't bear, she's so afraid someone, that something will happen to her. She'll have an accident between the first draft and the second draft of her book. And people just think, well, she, she must have like, you know, done herself in because her book was so terrible. And um, it always felt really related to that. But it just, it's like, it, it, anyway, you just, it's hard to stop when you feel like it doesn't look good. But 
you have to because you have the only way to manage it is to spray it again. I am going to fix this one thing though, right there, which is see how the background line looks like it's just sitting on top of that tree. So I just need to make that tree a little shorter so it doesn't just kiss the background trees. Now I kind of like that color I picked up. So. Yeah, maybe I'm making that too much of a thing, huh? Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to do this, see if I can make this a little better. Just flatten up my strokes a little more. Like that bank comes in front. And then I just have to put some more of that, um, the smoky colors of the trees that don't have any leaves. And uh, maybe I have to do another. Oh, and that other tree, I never got that other tree in there, so I have to do that too. Can't leave a tree out. Yeah. And I don't think I ever worked it down here either. Um. So that is going to be something like that. And you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to draw that um, that pole back in again just to see if I can even get it anywhere near in the right place. So I think it where it goes. This still comes up more. So I feel like that pole, just that pole feels too short to me. Oh, and the other one other thing I wanted to do right here, I wanted to see if I could make this a little more um, feathery at the top before I spray it. And I'll have to come back to it again. Geez, I wish I'd done it when I knew what color this was. It's going to come through. This is tree. It's kind of wispy. All right. So now I just want to. So. Something like that. So I think now that I see it in color, I actually think maybe it's okay. Let me see my picture. Okay, so um, that's it for now. And then I would spray it again and just try to make it better. And probably then maybe put in some more. Um, little thingies, details, or you could look at them as smaller color changes and make a little bit of an attempt to decide what I thought the center of interest should be, um, if there should be one or what the centers of interest, centers of interest should be. All right, call it quits for this for tonight.